Hello, welcome back. Let's go on to the production budget for outdoorsies. Go ahead and set up your header if you haven't already. Production budget. And it's going to have the same uh, date as that first one for the quarter ended. And that first quarter ends on March 31st. March 31st, 2020. On to the production budget. We did that one a couple videos ago. It looks something like this if you remember. So we'll go ahead and identify our columns and then put our rows off to the side. Okay, so we have our first column is January. Feb, March, and then total. If I have enough time, I'm gonna try uh, making a video to show you how to put this into Excel. That way, for those of you that have never used Excel before, I'll show you how to put it in formulas and things like that. Um, if I have time, it's a goal. Hashtag goals. Accounting goals. <laughs> Alrighty, so your first line in the production budget is the first one that it was in the sales budget. It is expected. You guys are kind of lucky because if it was a face-to-face -face class still, I have you memorize every single budget. You know, every single one. For your quiz, your exam, I just give you a blank piece of paper and you have to remember all of them. So it might be better that it's online, huh? Since you have your notes and all that stuff. Anywho, bring down your expected sales, right? Bring it all down. So 4500 for January. Four. Thousand for Feb, forty-three hundred for March, and a total of twelve eight. Still no dollar signs because these are all units. Then remember what your next uh, line is. It's the desired ending inventory. So we're going to add desired ending inventory. Desired ending inventory. I'm fine if you want to put a little plus sign there. Some budgets will actually write out the word add. Right, kind of like we did on the statement of retained earnings last uh, semester. So either way is fine. Add your desired ending inventory. So for that, we need a little more information because we said it's usually a calculation. So let's go back and read this prompt here. Um, desired ending inventory is 20% of the next month's estimated sales units. Okay, so we're going to have to calculate it. So we want to end January with 20% of the next month's sales. So take 20% of 4,000, you'll get 800. Okay, so that's how we do that. For February, take 20% of March. You're going to get 860. For March, what do we do? So this is why they gave us that first sentence. It tells us how many pairs we're gonna sell in April. Cause we need to, in order to figure out and finish the March column, we need to know what April's sales are. So that's why they gave us that first sentence in case you were wondering. So go ahead and take the 20%. And if you want to, you can even write 20% in here. So you remember 20% of April sales, which is 4,600 pairs. That gives you 920. Okay. I don't think I did the math to add across. Sorry about that. If uh, John was here, he'd add that up for me. He was always really fast with the calculations. I miss you guys. <gasps> oh. All right, add those up and we will get our total required units. Total required units. Add it up and we should get 5,300 for January. 4,860 for February, and then March 5,220. Again, sorry, I didn't do the math over here. I don't know why. And I pre-planned, but I'll leave that up to you. All right, after that, if we go back to our format here, go ahead and then subtract your beginning inventory. <laughs> All right, so minus beginning inventory. And if we go back to our little notes that we started with, we said this one can be given to us. We might have to calculate it. 
and then eventually once we have it we'll bring it forward I'll show you that in a minute okay so in this case I don't think it was given to us so we're gonna have to calculate it we're going to assume that management was always ending the period with its desired ending inventory so if it ended December with its desired that would be beginning inventory for January Okay, so they always want to end with 20% of next month's sales. So in December, they would have ended with 20% of January sales. So take 20% of 4,500, and you should get 900 units. That's your beginning inventory. Okay, so again, if they don't give it to you, sometimes they'll say January started off with 900 units. Great, if they give it to you. If not, you have to make the assumption that they're always continuing with this 20% um, goal. So that means they ended December with 20% of the next month, which was January. If they ended it in December, that's your beginning for January, okay? All right, the rest of these we're just gonna bring forward, okay? Bring forward. So what I mean is if we end January with 800, that's what we start February with. If we end February with 860, that's what we start March with. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay. I think I realize now why I didn't do the total column. In your book, they don't have a total column for production, but they did for sales, I believe. Yeah, they did for sales, but not for production. So I think I was just trying to be consistent there. So if you want to, you can completely omit that total column as your book does. But I do find it helpful to have this last number uh, when we get there for all of our subsequent budgets. Alrighty, so now we go ahead and add, I'm sorry, take the difference. And that's our required production. Required production. Take the difference. 5,300 minus 9, 4,400 is your units to be produced for January. In February, we need to produce 4,060 units based off of our sales, what we want to end with and how much we plan to start with. And then March, 4,360. And then here, I did total it up. We're going to have a total of 12 so if you add across, 12820 because that's going to help us out in our subsequent um, budgets. If you want to fill in that, the rest there, go for it. If you want to omit it, go for it because that's also consistent with your book. A lot of times what, what I show you is what I think will be helpful for you down the line. So there you go. All right, so we went ahead and put data into the first two operating budgets, which was sales and production go ahead and attempt the um, participation assignment which is going to have you do a production budget and make sure to turn that in by the due date and if i have time i'll do those little excel videos i was um, talking about all right see you later